Oh, whatever, I'm not gonna read through all of it. Let's go and attack it. Level 1 space station. Oh, wait, no, that's not level 1, my bad. They have, uh, one thing there, one level... Spa uh, one space building there. I, there's no, uh... No, really, uh... S uh, level 5 space stations, stuff like that. Located on the outer rim and largely covered by ocean, Jarmok has a small agricultural colony on its single continent. Oh, poor planet. For a time, it was the home of the Dark Jedi Jora Seboath. Ah, cool. Who set himself up to rule over the people. Oh, crap. Those are Star Destroyers. What the hell is that thing? Ready for your orders. Oh, that's Commander Stent. What is this? It's a Flantex Destroyer. That's... Commander of Seath? Okay, so I can boost weapon power and boost engine power on the uh, gunship things. However, not cloak, even though it's said can cloak. And here are the Fells with claw crafts. There's quite a lot of fighters there. I can barely see the fighters. Yeah, fighters are small once again. Wow, holy green engines, Batman. Let's see if I can rotate. Let's see. There we go. I don't do this often, but it's just for a special occasion, you know? Nice green engines. Kinda looks like something out of Star Trek. Going to movie mode. Some claw crafts. There's just a cloud of claw crafts there. And the little red engine things there. Don't know what they are. Probably interceptors. Everything's really dark. Looks like I have a Victory 1 frigate. Although it's missing the little spear coming out of the. Oh, wait, no, there it is. Never mind. Missing the spear coming out of the uh, command module. The bridge, if you will. If you want to be fancy about it. I have 21 Clawcraft squadrons. I even have TIE Fighters and Interceptors. We also have Scar Squadrons. Fast and dangerous. The, this Interceptor is the pinnacle of Empire of the Hand Starfighter technology despite its heavy armament. armament yeah. This Interceptor is capable of moving at incredible speeds and... And as deadly amongst starfighters of any lesser ped pedigree. Armed with ion cannons and masters. So, instead of mega masters, there's just masters. I'm guessing that's the chiss equivalent of uh, turbo lasers. Hmm, I'll get some more water. <sighs> oh, something else I just noticed. It seems that they have uh, hangar bays along the sides here. A little glowy square. We're moving out. Let's go on scout ahead. Oh, nice. The Tie Fighters can hunt, but not the Claw Crafts. Weapons online. Moving out. <sighs> Should have done the. Uh, I guess I'll call it the peekaboo tactic. Just uh, send one quick guy over to the uh, enemy base and then just launch everything from there. Bombers standing by. I have Thai bombers and the uh, Fells, Dutner and Jagged Fell. Uh, let's read the uh, heroes. A nice pilot and skilled tactician Sutner Su Fell is a commander of all Empire of the Hand Starfighter operations. And his son, nice pilot and son of General Baron Sutner Fell. Jag Fell was raised among the Chiss and brought into military service at a young age. And we have Voss Parrick, Class Admiral. Uh, when Thrawn emerged from the Unknown Regions in 9 ABY, he, he promoted Parrick to Admiral and Commander of Thrawn's Chiss Force. The Force formed the core of the Shadow Empire created by Thrawn, known as the Empire of the Hand. The enemy is approaching. For nearly... 
Wow, flak. For nearly, we'll get back to that. Oh, explosions. I'm getting a frame drop here. And it's probably because of the 32-bit uh, version of Windows I'm using. Really disappointing, but... Oh well, I'm, I'm able to at least uh, play mods now. My phone's going off. What the hell? Uh, I'm not going to talk to you. I'm making a video right now. Oh, victory cruiser, huh? Damn it, six frames a second? I expected a lot more. What a disappointment, really. Hey, look, an interdictor star destroyer. Or a mobilizer 418, I'm sorry. It even has a name, that's cool. Whoa! Interdictor star destroyer, huh? A little hiccup there. What the hell is this thing? Uh, a fighter bay, not a hangar, it's a fighter bay. Oh man, it's still a fuster luck of fighters and God knows what else. Might as well make the fighters group one. Let's get rid of these uh, victory cruisers. If we got any... Uh, I can boost shield power on a victory star destroyer. That's interesting. I almost want to see that. But we will later on. If he doesn't do that himself first. Ah, oh, these seem to be pretty dramatic space battles. Fast moving particles. And there's still a lot of particle effects going on. A bunch of little things. That's probably what's slowing down my computer. It's just the amount of fighters here. Which is probably what is going on because, uh... Ah, way to beep, cell phone! Because there's just a lot of small things and it's calculating a bunch of shit. So, it's... It's possible it's that, but I can play other games without lag now, so... It's interesting. Another Interdictor Star Destroyer. Oh boy. Boom! Big flash of blue light. And everything's gone. There, there's no remains of a Star Destroyer there anymore. It's just... Even the remains are gone now. <laughs> I stent. Oh man, immobilizer, you're screwed. Uh, it seems that uh, Commander Stent can use a uh, proton beam. That's interesting, we haven't seen that at all. Hopefully it's not as useless as it is in the original game. I swear, when it, whenever you wanted P8 to use the uh, uh, that ability, you had to have you, you needed to be so close to it. It's unbelievable, and it seems so far that and having the same situation here. Let's boost shield power. Up, oh, no, no, oh, no special effects for it. Darn, what a shame. What the hell is this? Uh, oh, Aruite. However you want to pronounce it. I don't care. Ah, oh, man. What the hell? Fighters, come on. Wow, that's a lot of fighters. Per squadron. That's also definitely what's slowing it down. Just the large amounts of fighters. That takes up a lot of particles, and... I have a... Uh, a very very powerful pro uh, gamer gaming uh, graphics card that's it I have the ATI Radeon uh, 6770 which is 
I it, I don't know what it means to me, but apparently it's very good. So they, they uh, praise themselves with being able to play uh, bad company. So expect a battle Battlefield Three gameplay. Some of that. I am planning on buying it, but maybe not as soon as it comes out. And oh boy, Admiral Commander Stan, get out of there! Getting pulverized. You know. Being faced with actually losing heroes makes using them that much more difficult because if you, if they get blown up, like 100% dead, deadified, then they're gone. There's there's no getting them back, and that makes using the heroes that much more interesting, and that more that much more, uh, that also puts on that much more pressure than you and. That's a victory star destroyer? That's a lot of hard points for a gunship. Or at least that was the role for uh or for the victory and the vanilla game. Oh man stent. Oh man stent. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there, stent. Man, that's a lot of missiles. Yeah, I imagine if I'll be if I uh, have less fighters, I'll be able to uh, play this game lag free. However, I have a lot of fighters. I have a lot of fighters. That's probably what's slowing it down. But then again, it's also completely possible that, uh... Wait a second, you said this planet had one continent. I count one, two, three, four, five or so. Oh, someone just set off a nuke. There's a little explosion over there. I count more than that. More than one continent. Silly head. And there goes their light frigate shipyard. 